channel. You know, today we are going to start our last lesson of grade 7 science. Yes, the 19th lesson. What is the lesson? Sources of energy. Sources of energy. I think you have remembered, you will learn these things. The sources of energy when you were in grade 6. The sources of energy. We have learned. The sun, wind, flowing water, geothermal energy, tidal waves, sea waves. Likewise, we have learned the energy sources. And also, we have learned the forms of energy in our seventh lesson. Kinetic energy, potential energy, chemical energy, heat energy. Likewise, we have learned forms of energy. So, in this lesson... We are going to get more idea about sources, sources of energy. You know, in our day-to-day -day life, we do so many activities. To do these activities, we need what? We need energy. Um, what are the activities normally we are doing in our day-to-day -day life? You know, home, boiling water and cooking. So, boiling water and cooking, we need what? What are the energy sources we need for that one? We need firewood. Or we can use LP gas. So otherwise, we need electricity. When we are using rice cookers or electric kettles, we need electricity. That is the energy source. And transportation. Normally, nowadays, we use so many vehicles for our transportation. So what is the energy source? Petrol and diesel. And drying clothes and other different things, we need solar energy. And also, you are using TV, mobile phones, computers, and bulbs. So, what is the source of energy? Electricity. Then, there are so many machines in factories. Most of them are used electricity and diesel as energy source. So you can see here so many energy sources. We are using so many energy sources. So these energy sources we can divide it into two groups. What are the two groups? Renewable energy sources and non-renewable energy sources. Renewable and non-renewable. So what is the meaning of renewable? That means we place the bulb. We can use it again and Again, okay. renewable. That means reproduced. The energy sources that are reproduced during use or within a short period of time. We can reproduce. I put an avocado. Avocado is energy source. But I put an renewable energy source. So what are the examples? Sun, solar energy. That is renewable. Reproduced. Then flowing water. Wind, biomass, and geothermal energy. So these are the renewable energy sources. Then other type is non-renewable energy sources. So what is non-renewable? They cannot reproduce after use. Or otherwise we can say it will take long period of time to be reproduced. It will take long period of time. Or otherwise it cannot be Reproduce. Now, So, what are the examples for non renewable? Fossil fuels, you know, fossil fuels, and coal, natural gases, and nuclear power. These are the non renewable resources. Okay, to get more idea or more information about these renewable and non renewable resources, we can discuss more about these things. Let's talk about renewable energy sources. First one is solar power. Okay, solar power. We can take solar power as light and also heat. We can take heat, both heat and light as solar power. So, I think you have seen in some houses, there are solar heaters. There are solar heaters on the rooftops of the houses. 
So this solar heater used for mostly boiling water for bathing. Mostly bathing, they use solar heaters for heat water for heating. So here uh, we can make a simple water heater. This is water heater activity nineteen point two. Look at your book. That is an activity to construct a simple solar heater. Here we need a black colored pipe. This is a black colored pipe, a long pipe that that, that is black in color. So this is the water tank. This is water tank, and this is black color pipe connect to this water tank. And also here, this black color pipe set to black color surface, and we can make. A solar panel. So this is the solar panel. So both both pipe and this surface are black in color. So most of the heat can be absorbed to this surface because black color surface absorb more heat. So how it works? Let's see how it works. Here the black color pipe is heated because of The solar heat, the black color pipe is heated. So inside the black color pipe, there is water. The water also get heated. So the heated water, that means hot water, come to the tank by this pipe. Through this pipe, the hot water come to the upper side of the tank. The lower side of the tank, there is cold water. So cold water come through this pipe to this panel, and again the cold water get heated because of the panel heated pipe, and again this hot water come to the upper side of the tank. So you can see here this is a continuous process. Continuously water get heated, and we can take hot water by using this. Solar heater, solar heat cooker. I think you all know about solar heat cooker. We have discussed about this thing in our previous lesson. Okay, for cooking no normally we are using uh, biomass as LP gas and also electricity for our cooking purpose. But we can use solar heat. Solar power also our cooking purpose. So we can use this instrument for cooking. Solar heat cooker. Okay. Now we can do an activity. Activity nineteen point three in page number hundred and sixteen. Here we have to find the effect of the size of solar heat cooker on its function. Effect of the size. The size, or otherwise, the area, the size of area. How the area affect to its function? Uh, here we need a several torch reflectors. Look at the picture. This is a torch reflector. We need several torch re reflectors of different sizes. We need different sizes of torch reflectors and several matchsticks. And clay. Now take the torch reflector and fix the matchstick here, the middle of the torch reflector, by using clay. Using clay, we can fix the matchstick onto the torch reflector. And we have to place this torch reflector on the sunlight. Here you have to remember one thing. So place this torch reflector in a position which the top of the match is set the point where sunlight is collected. We have to place the point where sunlight is collected to this match stick, and then we have to measure the time it takes to light the match. Light the match. We have to measure the Time. So then we 
we have to take another torch reflector different sizes and we have to measure the time it takes to light the match and record it here after doing the practical you can observe when we increase the size of torch reflector it is decrease the time to light the matchstick that mean when we increase the size of torch reflector the amount of heat can be obtained also increase when we increase the size the amount of heat can be obtained also increase so same thing happening in solar heat cooker when we increase the area of solar heat cooker when we increase the area we can take more heat more amount of heat can be obtained by increasing the area of solar heat cooker so we can take more heat by using large solar heat cooker understood solar cells do you all know what are the solar cells so solar power is used in these cells to produce electricity solar cells so these solar cells first produced to provide electricity to artificial satellites first produced to uh, provide electricity to artificial satellites but now you know nowadays these solar cells are used in mostly calculator and experimenting electric cars and street lamps street mostly street lamps are work, working by the using these solar cells and aeroplane you can see the pictures of street lamps and vehicles in your textbook 170 page number 170 there are pictures here you can see the solar cells solar batteries the rooftop of the car you can see there are solar battery do you know solar power is renewable renewable power even though solar power is renewable and profitable there are some disadvantages now we can discuss what are these disadvantages solar batteries are very expensive so most people cannot use this solar battery because they are income and there are some rainy days in rainy period so mostly sky is filled with cloud so this cloud is sky reduce effectiveness of solar batteries you know to work this solar batteries light is needed so sunlight is needed but in the rainy day the effectiveness will reduce the electricity generated by solar power can be stored in batteries you know can be stored in solar battery but very small amount can be stored in the battery and when we dispose these batteries we have to use a proper way proper method otherwise it will pollute our environment so these are the disadvantages so there are advantages and disadvantages of using these solar batteries solar panels